heard the question there to Kevin, but speaking about the Liverpool fans and that hostile welcome in the past, that has meant flares and smoke bombs and things being thrown at the team bus. Does it concern you as a manager turning up in those circumstances? Well, good afternoon. Uh, we we are here. We came here to to play a football game. Hopefully, everything, everybody, our fans, Liverpool fans, can be correct and polite and and just as a game, it's a sport. And the people cannot forget that. As good as rivalry, of course, the Liverpool fans they will put a lot of pressure uh, <laughs> on their players and in and, and good terms. So that is what it is. We accept that, and it's like Kevin said, it's a nice, nice place to to play football. What are your thoughts about training here at Anfield today? Is that has that anything to do with the form run that the club has had? No, it's close. It's 45 minutes from Manchester. So before I go to the hotel to see Juventus Madrid or Sevilla Bayern Munich. So come here, go in the, you know, make the last training session. So it's good. Well, he did really well in Rome. Uh, Chelsea didn't play too much, but in Rome it was amazing. But yes, he created every game. He created a lot of chances, but always sometimes miss. But this season is, I think, it's running the way the Jurgen Klopp want to play. It's perfect, suit perfect for him. I think Jurgen is a master to buy players what what really needs on the way we want to play. Uh, but just the three in front on the way they play. So, and then certain balls they are so clinical. So uh, they punish you on your mistakes and uh, because they are so fast and they are so direct. And, um, and that's good. It's a good challenge for us. It's 180 minutes. We're going to try to make a good performance here, to try to score goals and, and give a good result to Manchester. Well, I think uh, that uh, was uh, the game at Manchester and the game here with uh, when we lost 4-3. So we cannot deny the both teams try to play. So we are the both teams more goals, more goals scored in the Premier League this season so far, and by far. And uh, I think Jurgen Klopp teams are an honest teams. Always respect, you know, what football means and try to attack. And of course, we're going to try to. So I'm pretty sure tomorrow. It's going to be a good game. Andy. Uh, how is Sergio? He's in Manchester. He didn't come. Oh, right. uh, well, how serious is the problem? He was injured in the last two weeks, three weeks. He's still not fit. Will he be back to the Derby at the weekend? We'll see. Simon. Um, I think the report of left back on uh, Saturday at Everton. Is that an indication he'll start against? Well, F Fabian Delf is back. F Fabi is back, and uh, of course Danilo can play there. So we'll see. We'll see what uh, I have an idea, but you understand. I'm going to tell you. Can I just ask you about uh, Gabriel Jesus? Obviously out for nearly two months. He's played the last six and he's started the last three. Physically, is he still coping after being out for so long and coming back and doing so much? How is he doing physically? Today is his birthday, 21 years old. With 21 years old, you are not tired. Never. So he's coping well? Well, when the first game was against Ambazel at home, uh, second leg, when we already qualified, it, of course, the lack of rhythm it was noticed. But since then, the day after against Stoke City was good, so he played a lot of games because, unfortunately, <laughs> the best moment uh, we had with Sergio was injured, but uh, he's come back and now, you know, we, it's, it's much, much better Sergio, but today the physios, the doctor spoke with him and said, um, still I have a little bit problem, I'm not comfortable at all, not, you know, perfectly, and that's why he could not stay here. Martin? Has a lot been made about this, this welcome that Manchester City is going to get at Anfield, but I'm presuming when you went in Madrid with Barcelona, Sort of 
Well, the people suggest what's going to happen tomorrow, but still I didn't leave it. Uh, tomorrow after the training, the, the game, I can tell you what, what is, you know, I, 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 I know our professional world, we accept the rivalry when you arrive a little bit, show you how strong they are, how it's going to happen. But of course, when you go in Barcelona, was in Barcelona and, and went to, especially Madrid, in, in important games, Liga or, or the semifinals, was... But there the police, you know, the last years, you know, spread out the people. We cannot be in too much in contact with the, with the fans and that's why it was... But here the streets are, you know, narrow. So we'll see. Hopefully it's going to be well and, and Liverpool fans can show what his history speaks for itself, you know. Yeah. We are here, our best performance is one semi-final of the Champions League and they are five finals or six, I don't know how many Champions League they won. So uh, when Robert says we are favourites, we accept that. I love to think we wanted to do something in that competition, you have to feel it, you are favourite, you have to feel it, you have to feel you can do it. If don't, it's no chance, uh, but I know this kind of words, what does it mean? But uh, of course, I said to the players, so the people think, oh, well, Liverpool, how tough it is. Yeah, Barcelona will be the same, Bayern Munich, Madrid. If you go to Sevilla, how tough it is, near the stadium. So that's why in that level, in quarterfinals, is a, a mountain and, and it depends on how you are able to, to overcome that situation or not, knowing that, of course, the opponent is one of the toughest in the world. No, no, we're going to, so if I said, guys, we're going to do a completely different we have done in so far, the people, my players look at me and say, the guy is scary. So this player, is the, the manager, don't trust in ourselves. So it will be a big mistake. But we cannot forget that is not one game, it's 180 minutes. And when I admire the most for the important teams that I don't know were able to do that, because last season we're not able to do that in this kind of situation, knockout games, is in the bad moments they are calm. They remain calm. In the bad moments and always it happens in 180 minutes, they start more or less. You see Madrid, Barcelona, the opponent is attacking, attacking, and it looks like I'm taking a cup of coffee because I know my chance is coming. And, and when it's coming, we are not going to miss that shot. That is the big difference, and we would like to have uh, most our strikers. They have 20, 21 years old, and uh, it's the first or second time we are playing in that in that competitions, and maybe we need more time. But that's why it's fantastic to to see. For us, it's a dream to stay here again, to be here in the best eight teams in the in the Europe, and uh, and try to compete to achieve the best form. No. Never considered playing No, of course I consider what is the value from Liverpool. Of course I know their qualities and, and, and I, I'm concerned about the, what they do. Of course, I'm not so arrogant and present to thinking it doesn't matter what they do, we are good enough. No, I am not talking about. But you are thinking about it, they're going to defend 11, 90 minutes in our box and after we're going to make a one contra-attack. If you are talking about that, it's not going to happen. Maybe you are going to defend 90 minutes for one reason. It's because Liverpool is unstoppable, it's much better. But when I'm going to show you them, so why we should change when it's going well so far? And we're playing that way, we had the good results, and they believe we can do it, but knowing, because sometimes we will have to defend, we have to be careful in the qualities for Liverpool, of course, we spoke that, but it's happened in Everton, it's happened in Stoke City when we play, when we were out in, in the FA Cup against Wigan. So we try to tell them what they are like a team, but without to try to impose our game. But it, but it didn't go well here last time for you, so you know, four, four goals conceded was very unusual for you. So yeah, but we don't think maybe a different way. Yeah, but you have to analyze how it was the goals, you know, how was the game. So the second half were much better. Even the, the, the Liverpool fans start to say woo to their players in the middle in 10 minutes, three goals on one goal and after a post and after another goal in two, three minutes. Of course, you have to 
like your colleague said to Kevin, you have to improve on that. If done in that competition, you are you are out. Uh, of course, you have to be defensively well, but we concede few goals in that season. We concede few few chances in every game. That means that we are solid playing 40 meters in front. But I know for the way we play is perfect for Liverpool. You know, because the team like they attack the space like any other team in the world with the, especially Mane Salah with Firmino they are so good even with Chamberlain on the people comes in behind I know that but of course you're going to try to adjust something but because I don't feel it so I feel the best way to play or to try to win is the way we try to do since we were here together yeah. the last couple guys we'll just go here first please Pep you speak very in a very complimentary way about Liverpool and uh, we know the atmosphere here tomorrow night how do you rate this in terms of the size of match since you've been Manchester City manager? Do you think it's your biggest, most difficult test over the two legs? So I know atmosphere is tough, but if you go to Barcelona and qualify in semi-finals, the atmosphere, I would tell you, is tough as well, in Madrid as well. So in that level, so, everybody... So, so trying to get around everyone, mate. Your time as Manchester City Jesus. Pff, I don't know. I think the big challenge is try to play your team like you want and convince them the best the way to play. That, I think, is the biggest challenge. And after, it's a, it's a joy to be here. So I don't think about what's going to happen if it's not going well, it's not going well. In, in six days, we have another one. Seven days, we have another one. So I'm not concerned about uh, what's going to happen. It's try to do to be ourselves. That is all what I want, you know? Be ourselves, knowing the opponents, all the eight teams or seven teams in the Quarterfinals are so so demanding teams. At the end, Spanish. Yeah. James. Uh, you mentioned obviously that you used to 21 today. Sane is 22. Raheem's 23. They're very young, but they are all delivering for you now, which is obviously very impressive. But how, how much excitement does it give you that they're delivering now and the potential and the growth that you've got? To we are so happy with all. Of all of them, especially these three guys you told, so you need experience to be better. You need uh, to leave these kind of situations a lot of times to be better. And uh, they are young. So Gabriel never played uh, any finals or quarterfinals of the Champions League in their lives. And the first time will be here, in a, you know, but wh why should I doubt about them? Why? So when we did it, in many stages, bigger stages in that season, quite well. So, and if it's not going well, will be a good lesson for the future. So, it's what it is. No worries, no, no, no. no. I saw, I saw players with 32 years old more scary than that three guys. So, it depends on the mentality of them, and they are so good. They are so good. Okay, we'll take a couple in Spanish then, just here first. Sí, intentamos, intentaremos aprender de los errores que cometimos y seguir viendo lo, lo bien que hicimos algunas cosas y lo bien que ellos hacen otras. Sí, cada partido te sirve para analizar, pero es un partido nuevo, básicamente, porque mañana no se acaba. Se acaba en, de aquí a una semana. How will determine the last the last game you play here in Premier League the the plan for tomorrow? Well, obviously we'll try to learn from from our mistakes, but also the good things we did uh, that day, and also obviously to look after the things Liverpool did well. But uh, we'll analyze it. But again, we have to bear in mind that it's a new game, and it doesn't get over tomorrow. We'll have another opportunity next Tuesday. Sí, en dos partidos se puede hacer mal y en dos partidos le pueden hacer mal. Sí, en Liga regular no hay dubte que estén muy a prop de ser campeones, uh, pero dos partidos y a un partido todo puede pasar. Absolutamente, claro, ya ja lo sabemos. Es que es porque juegan muy aquí, pues yo sí me encuentro. Si vos los otros seis equipos de cuartos de final, la respuesta sería la misma. 
va la seva qualitat, la seva història, els seus jugadors. Jo sempre analitzo els jugadors, lo bons que són i el que ens poden fer. So, uh, Manchester City squad has shown that uh, they are superior along the whole season to the rest of the teams in the Premier League, but uh, in two games do you think Liverpool can can harm you? Well, obviously in, in two matches they can harm us, but so so do we, so we can harm them as well. But there's no doubt we are close to get the, the Premier League title, but obviously in one or two games in this competition anything can, can happen, but I would say the same thing if we face any of the other top six teams in the Premier League. And the second question, what do you fear about Liverpool the most? Well, several things. Uh, their quality, their history, and they have uh, great players as well. Okay. Thank, Thank you. Guys. Yes, guys.